Welcome back to the E30 project. In this episode, we'll be replacing the gear selector shaft seal. If you find that you're having an oil leak towards this area of the car, underneath and towards the center, that's the back of the gearbox and you might have a leak with your gear selector shaft seal. This is the gear selector shaft seal. It's a small and cheap part, only 20 ringgit or about 5 US dollars. And this is the gearbox for which I'll be replacing the seal. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Get Rack 240. So get the car on jacks and let's get underneath it. The seal is located at the very top of the gearbox at the back. So it's quite tight and difficult to get to. My gearbox has a lot of oil all the way down the back, but I believe all of this has leaked out from the selector shaft seal. To get to the seal, we'll need to get the prop shaft out of the way, and we'll start at the other end of the prop shaft, at the back of the car. We'll remove the back cover by undoing 4 bolts, and the front cover comes off with another 8 bolts. Now you have to undo the 3 nuts and bolts, holding the prop shaft to the gearbox output shaft. It will be much easier to loosen these nuts if you've actually pulled the handbrake and put the car into gear. Repeat for the second nut and bolt, and then for the third one, and remove all three bolts. With all three bolts removed, the only thing keeping the prop shaft attached to the gearbox is the length of the prop shaft itself. So lower the middle section of the prop shaft until you can wiggle the prop shaft away from the gearbox. You should mark both sections of the prop shaft in case they come loose because you'll need to reattach them in exactly the same orientation. To prevent the two halves of my prop shaft from separating, I'm just propping up the middle section with a hydraulic jack. Now we have unobstructed access to the gear selector shaft seal. The selector shaft is connected to the gear lever via this linkage. Of course, since the gearbox is covered with oil right now, I'll take the opportunity to spray it down with degreaser, scrub it off, and wash it clean. We need to get the gear lever linkage out of the way. This clip is holding it in place. So just use a flat head screwdriver to pop it off. Now you can pull the linkage arm off with the help once again of a flat head screwdriver. There is a little collar that we will need to loosen using a couple of flat head screwdrivers. Pry the collar apart and then you can slide it back towards the gearbox. That will expose this pin, which you'll need to push out of the way from the top. Now this little piece, no idea what it's called, can be removed. And don't forget to retrieve the collar too. And finally, here is the naked selector shaft with the seal around it. To remove the seal, you'll need to drive a small flathead screwdriver or a sharp pick in between the shaft and the seal, being careful not to damage the shaft. Here you can see I've driven a small test pan into the space and started prying it out. Just keep prying until you can remove the whole seal. Here's the selector shaft without its seal. And here's a side by side with the old seal on the left and the new seal on the right. To install the new seal, I read on the E30 zone that you can use a 15mm socket. But I found that a 15mm socket rests on the rubber part of the seal. So I figured a 17mm probably works better. So just grab the new seal, slip it right over the shaft, and grab your 17mm socket and lightly tap it in with a hammer. 
You'll want to do this gently so you don't damage the new seal. Unfortunately, if you are an idiot like me, you'll have put the seal in at an angle and you'll just have to hope that it didn't get damaged. Reinstallation is the reverse of removal, which is a nice way to say that I won't be showing you the full details here. But I'm glad to report that two weeks after installing the new seal, I can see no sign of new oil leaks. Stay tuned for more episodes. I'll be filling the gearbox up with new transmission fluid, fixing a fuel line leak, and then we'll be ready to drive off to the exhaust shop.